Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in. In today's video, we are going to talk about how to embed Apple App Store reviews into your website using Sociable Kit and the website builder Squarespace. First, we're going to the official page of Sociable Kit, and from here, we're gonna have to click this login button. And from here, we're gonna have to click this create widget button, and if we click this, this will always redirect to the creation of widget page. Now we're going to have to select our widget type. In that widget type is Apple App Store. Give me this. And it says here that we have to put our Apple App Store ID. So what is our Apple App Store ID? Now go into our Google Play Store. In here we're going to use this Gmail app from the App Store and it's reviews. So the Google ID is this. We can copy the whole URL and it will always convert it into the Apple App Store ID if we paste it here. Now we're gonna have to click next. Now this is our Apple App Store reviews. As you can see, everything that the reviews says here is also in our App Store review feed. If you have encountered any problems, just click this button located at the bottom right corner of your screen and this will open up the Sociable Kit chat support. And if you click uh, the left side of your screen, as you can see, is the different kinds of tab. And this is the customization tab. And I'm going to highlight some of them. First, in the themes tab, in here, there are different kinds of default theme. Maliwalas theme, maayos theme, maagap theme, and so on. Now, each of these default theme has its own color combination. So if you click this maayos theme, if I click this yes, this color combination of black, white, brown, and light gray should be embedded into our Apple App Store Reviews feed. And as you can see, now the feed is in Maayos theme. Moving on to the Reviews tab. In here, you can change the layout of your feed. So you can change it from grid, masonry, or carousel. So I'm going to change it into grid because it is more organized and professional. And I can also change the column count. And I can also change the default review count so I can change the count which the reviews are displayed I can change it into 6 and I'm going to save changes and as you can see now the fade is in the grid layout and the column count in 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 so if we click this load more we can load more of our reviews feed moving on to the colors tab in here, if you didn't find the perfect theme in the theme tab that fits your website or your business, you can always manually uh, change it in here. So you can change the feed background color, you can choose the uh, color here, and you can also change the review background color, the font color, and so on. Lastly, in the CSS tab, in here, if you have any kinds of design or any kinds of CSS that you want to add, you can put it in here. Now that you are done, we're gonna have to embed this now into our website by clicking this Embedded Website button. And if we click this, this will open up this pop-up which uh, requires us to select our website builder. And you can search your website builder here. And in our case, it is Squarespace. Here it is. And this will pop up the step-by-step -step instruction on how to embed this into our website. And we're going to follow this first. We're going to copy the following code, which is a JavaScript code. And now we're going to the Squarespace. Now from here, just remember that you can put your feed in an existing page or in a new page. In our case, we are going to put it in a new page. So I'm going to add a blank page here. And we're going to rename it into Apple App Store Reviews. Here it is. Now we can edit it and we can add a section, add a blank one so we can add a new block in the section. And now we're going to add a block, and that block is the code block. And from here, we're going to edit the code and remove the hello world code. And we're going to paste the JavaScript code that we copied earlier. And as you can see, it is now embedded there. So we can uh, 
resize the feed if we want and here it is it is now in the maximum resizable and that is it we can now save it and exit the edit mode so we can see what it fully looks like and here it is as you can see now this is our feed we can preview it by clicking this and as you can see everything that we change is embedded here from the grid layout from the maayos team from the column count and the layout of the grid we can also load more of the post if we want we can click the uh, reviews to see the pop-up what it looks like and that is all we can now exit the previous and that is it you can edit anything back to the customization tab in the searchable kit if you want and thanks you go thank you guys for watching and i hope you guys like and subscribe and ring that notification down below so you are updated in the new video tutorials and just comment down below if you have any feedbacks and that is all i'll catch you guys in the next video